uh, job. It's really interesting, some of the stuff you can find in there. And um, they had, I'm very interested in this marine radio. Uh, um, oh, gosh, that's terribly fast. What name is Steve, isn't it? Yeah, Steve. Um, maybe on the next day, you could actually tell me which uh, model of radio it is, and I'll have to look at a picture of that. And I was slightly surprised that they chose to use uh, what sounds like a slightly flimsy antenna connector on it. You would, uh, you would think that they would go for something really robust on a marine radio. Um, something that was up to the sort of use it was going to be subjected to. So I'm a bit surprised at that. But uh, yeah, as, as Tony was saying, the, um, the RJ45 connectors light on the uh, 81 um, way of extending it without having to rewire the microphone. Right, I'll, uh, I'll pass it on to Steve there, and uh, like I said, yeah, maybe you can tell me which, uh, which radio this is that you're using there, Steve. Two Echo Zero, Mike Delta Mike, and the group from Two Echo Zero, Mike Delta Zulu. Yeah, Two Zero, Mike Delta Zulu. Two Zero, Mike Delta Mike returning. Yeah, the, uh, the radio itself is a, is a, a Peruno, which is Foxtrot Uniform, Radio Uniform November Oscar. If you look on the QRZ page, you'll see a, a picture of it there. Now, the actual model is uh, Foxtrot Sugar 1550 1550. Um, but as I said, the whole station, from where I sit to the antenna, the whole thing is purely experimental. The whole thing from, uh, from one side of the house to the other. 